So I get a lot of questions about IEW because I have been using IEW now for nine years with my kids, pretty much since kindergarten. And I've always really loved their approach and how it really focuses on that writing and rhetoric and just building strong vocabulary, strong writing skills, all the things. So I have a big box here and it's from IEW. And as I go through this box, I'm going to be sharing with you some tips, some tricks, all the kind of stuff that I use and have used during the years that I've been doing IEW. So, I'm going to open it. So the first thing right on top that was inside the box was the phonics zoo. So I've been kind of going back and forth a little bit on spelling. I really like all about spelling, but I also really like this. And I have actually used phonics zoo. I just, it's, it's actually been destroyed. And I know that I needed a new one. So I got a new one, plus I didn't have the teacher's notes before and actually didn't have these cards as well. But I also had them on CD. Now I can get them on MP3, which is way better for us. So I do know how to use these, and I do know how they work, um, and they're fabulous. But I also love All About Spelling, and I've actually been doing All About Spelling Level 3 with my kids, uh, my two youngest, not my two youngest, I'm sorry, the two middle children. I've been doing Level 3. One of them is actually going into 7th grade, and we're doing Level 3, but we're going through it pretty quickly, just to give you a heads up about that. But I am thinking about switching over to Phonic Zoo just because it's so much easier. It's not as teacher intensive and it's done really well too. So let me kind of give you an idea of just a little bit of how this works. So I do remember that when you got this, you started with lesson one. And so this is the lesson one note cards. And then the vocabulary words, I'm sorry, not the vocabulary words, the spelling words are on the back of this. You do get level A, B, and C. And, it, and just like traditional IEW style, there is a pattern. So you get through A, once you get through all of A, then you move to B, then you move to C. And they keep the same, like, the same pattern. So lesson one, whether you're doing A, B, or C, is going to be the AA rule. And there's a jingle when AI says A, as in claim and chain, it comes in the middle as train and pain. But when AY says A, as in jar and portray, it comes at the end C, decay, and delay. Don't let suffixes betray you, as in decayed. The root never changes. See playful and play. Now, all about spelling does stuff like that it just doesn't have the jingle but it does teach stuff the spelling rules so these are actually the spelling words for a so let's say you're starting with a young child early elementary so these are them right there and in between you're gonna say the jingle as you're going through the idea is you keep repeating the spelling test every single day until they can get every single word spelled correctly and you don't move on until they do that when they do that then you can move to level two. There are also these little note cards right there. And one thing about IEW that is a big, big tip is putting things up on the walls or right in front of where they do their schoolwork. If you can't put them up on the walls or right in front of them, you can put it in a notebook. These are very easy to put up on the walls to remind them of the spelling rules. All About Spelling is going to have them in a little container that it, maybe I should just do a video on comparing Phonic Zoo and All About Spelling because both of them are really, really good. So anyway, here's this, the teacher notes. It looks like when I open it up, it's going to give me some really just good, you know, support type information. So each lesson will include a few discussion points to explain some of the other spelling rules that are expressed in the list, discuss the difference between the root words and a suffix. The suffix they used uh, that are used in this list are ant, ed, ing, full, s, li, and al. You may want to begin a, su a suffix chart. So they give you some ideas basically is what I'm saying to help you out with this. And then of course all levels, then there's some information for level B and level C to add on because those are your older kids. So everything's right here. So once you buy the Phonic Zoo, the teacher notes and the packet, like just the whole packet, 
you have everything you need for like the in, the in, their entire spelling career, basically. It's really good. It's a, This is like really affordable. So if you're interested in something like this for spelling, there's a link down in the description box below. It's my affiliate link. You can check it out, get this. It's awesome. So there's this. Let's see what else is in my IW box. Um, I've got some nice little things so they can get me to buy more. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So this is year two level B structure and style, which I have used already with my oldest son, and now I'm gonna use it with my second son, and we just love this. So this is this goes in the actual binder, and I actually ironically have a binder sitting right here. This was his um, year, two, year one level B, so this is gonna be year two level B. So you can see the difference. Um, it's got the same pattern. So IEW is going to always have that same pattern where you know the first week is gonna be on this topic, the second week is gonna be on this topic, and they're all the same as you go throughout. What's nice about these folders is they do come with tabs where you can organize them. So the one thing that a lot of people get confused when they think about IEW is the different levels. So level A is gonna be elementary, level B is gonna be middle school, level C is gonna be high school, and it's very developmental. It's based on developmental. So don't try to skip ahead. I mean, I understand like staying, like maybe you wanna do like a middle school or on maybe year three level A, like if they're in sixth grade, I get that. But for the most part, you wanna to stick to the levels. Now, if you are having a child starting IEW right off the back, always do year one. Don't take your fifth grader doing a level A and year three because they're just, it's gonna be hard. So you will always wanna start with year one wherever you start them and um, I love these I and like I said I do have the folder and I do have the streaming service so I didn't really have to get the whole packet I just had to get the student little worksheets I also got a ton of these fix-it grammars I love fix-it grammar I love it so much that I just keep getting them and even my high schooler this year is going to continue doing them because it takes 15 minutes a day and it builds on itself so I'll show you Oh my goodness, look, they have a whole chart telling you when they introduce different parts of speech. I love this so much right now. I also have a vocabulary list. Look at that. Oh, and look on the back, it even says only 15 minutes a day. It advertises that. So it's not just me. Like, it's advertised that way. Like, it literally is 15 minutes a day. Okay, so the student, let me kind of show you how this works. So every single day, they're going to get a page that looks like this. And at the very top, you have a read it, a mark it, and a fix it. So when you read it, you're gonna have a lovely vocabulary word, and hopefully they know what it means. Usually I just kind of quiz them on it, say, do you know what this means? And they define it for me, and we're good. They'll go through it, now they're gonna mark it, and they're gonna find four nouns, they underline them, and label the nouns. Three pronouns, find those, label. Fix it is capital and ending mark. Once they got that down, they're gonna write it down at the bottom. I always say do cursive, that is our cursive work. So handwriting is mixed in for us with the grammar, 15 minutes a day. That's it, they're done. Now there are some days where you're going to get a little bit of a teaching, which they call it learn it. And this one's gonna go over pronouns, you can read this together, or if they're older, they read it on their own. And that's actually what's going to be taught in that lesson. And it's going to continue throughout the book. So jumping ahead, so that was from week two, by the way, but I showed you. So I'm gonna jump ahead to week 22. As you can see, the list has gotten significantly longer, right? You still have the vocabulary word, and now it's consume. Same thing is true, you check to see if they know what it means. But now you get a mark it. You've got articles, nouns. You learned about nouns earlier. You learned about pronouns earlier. And then an adjective, prepositional phrase, that clause, adverb clause, subject verb pair opener. Then you're gonna fix the capital in mark, find a homophone and an apostrophe. So you're building. Every day you're building and reviewing at the same time. 15 minutes a day. And it's so easy. They're like, oh, I gotta do fix it grammar. Not a big deal. I'll just do it again because it's really easy. It does not have any diagramming in it. I have a lot of people asking me if there's diagramming in it. No, there is no diagramming in it. If you're interested in diagramming, Well Trained Mind is where you can get that from. But um, unless you're really gonna be into diagramming, and learning foreign languages and you like that kind of stuff, then this is all you really need. Pixie Grammar, this is for my youngest daughter 
and my two boys, one is in high school. This is a good story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. So they take a story, and every day you're doing a new sentence from the story. So at the very back, they actually have the entire story written out. And so actually, one thing that I really like to do, well, I did this with my younger kids, not so much my older kids, but we read the story straight through before we even started in on the fix-it grammar so they could get an idea. And you can see, I mean, like I said, they're taking a sentence a day for the entire year from the story. They also, at the very back of the book, they have an LY adverb dress up chart. So if you're familiar with IEW, you understand what LY adverbs dress ups are, and you can kind of fill them in and start making a list for yourself. They also have a strong verb chart that you can add to quality adjectives. Those tend to be the ones that you make lists of. You should have, now see, here's, this is just my opinion, but they do have this actually. Uh, they have a list, they have a pronoun chart and they have a plural, singular, plural, but they also have a preposition chart right here. And actually, you can't see it, but behind me at my daughter's desk, she has a list of prepositions. Uh, in my opinion, those are just one of the ones that you probably should have memorized. It's just really helpful to memorize your prepositions. And there's like a little chant. You could probably Google it, find a chant for prepositions. But if not, they do have a list of prepositions at the back of the book. They also have fix-it grammar cards that go with this that you can use as kind of flashcards, or you can put them up however you want to use them to help teach your student or child about grammar. Now, if you have not ever ordered structure and style before, this is what you should order. And this is kind of like the big packet. And this is for my daughter who is doing year two, level A. Now she's in fifth grade. I have not done this yet because I started structure and style with my kids uh, because we were using theme-based unit studies. And structure and style we started using when my youngest son was in fifth grade. So we, he only did year one, level A, and then the following year he did. So you can see we've only been structure and styling with him for two years. Anyway, my daughter has done level A year two and is doing year two. She did year one this year. So when you open it up, you do get information on how to download the Streaming Forever if you do that version. I usually do. And then you get this big old thing. In this, you're going to get the notebook that you're going to use to organize all your pages. And like I said, we've done it before with my older son, so I'm just gonna use the old folder. And it's green because elementary is green. Inside this, you get the teacher manual and then you get the packet with all of the worksheets. This has got all the little tabs now that you would use and then you will use so at the very back there's some paper here and they're big large papers because you use them when you watch the videos mr poodle will explain all the things to them what's great about structure and style is for the first two days they watch a video with mr poodle and he is very entertaining and the kids love him he teaches them all the things structure and style and then you as a parent it's actually really useful if you watch the videos too but you'll get an, or you could read the teacher manual. To me, just reading the teacher manual was so much easier to get. Understanding how structure and style works and understanding how to find all the dress ups. There's a really good analogy that Mr. Poudoua, Andrew Poudoua, the creator of IEW, he shared this so I went to hear him speak at the FPA. But this one analogy that he gave that was so beautiful when it came to writing is he said, you know, you get a puppy. What do you do with the puppy if you want to play with him? You cuddle him, you feed him, you hug him, you pet him, you take him for walks, you have fun together. You don't take him and dissect him. Like that's not how you play and get to know your puppy. Well, when you're writing, it's kind of the same thing. How are you going to get to know writing? Well, you're, you're not going to dissect it. What you're going to do is you're going to play with it. You're going to play with the words. You're going to try out different words flip around the little, you know, structure. You know, maybe you want to start something with a preposition. Maybe you want to start something with an LY adverb. Rearrange sentences to make them more interesting. You know, you build those LY adverbs, dress ups, adjectives, all those things. So it's, it's a matter of just playing with your words, playing with your sentences, and finding out what can get across what you're trying to say to the audience 
the best way that you possibly can. It's really fun. And with practice, they just get better. I really feel like, I really feel like writing and rhetoric is one of those things that is a skill that a child really needs to learn. Reading, 100%. And comprehension, 100%. So that's my unboxing of IEW. There's, like I said, a link down in the description box below. You can check it out, buy some products. If you guys are going to use them for next year, I would love for you guys to use my link. You don't have to. I get it. But it's there for you, and I am an affiliate, and it keeps me connected with IEW, and I really appreciate it if you do. So, just sharing you that information, especially if you like this video, share it, like it, all the things. And I'll put my IEW playlist if you want to go deeper. It's like right there. Check it out. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.